Colorfast 2 is a unique and versatile plugin from New Blue Effects that allows you to do complete color correction from a single intuitive interface. Today, we'll be showing you how to use Colorfast 2, including how to make basic and advanced color corrections, correct your video's white balance, preserve skin tones, and add or modify a shape mask. We will be working in Adobe Premiere Pro, but Colorfast 2 is available for most major video editing programs. To apply Colorfast 2 to a clip, navigate to the Video Effects tab, open the New Blue Filters folder, and drag Colorfast 2 onto your video event. This will add a Colorfast 2 option within the Effect Controls tab, which comes with a variety of dropdowns for offering you various degrees of customization. One of these options is the Region Scopes tab, which allows you to see your video's colors displayed in a graphical overlay. Select which format you would like to use with options such as Histogram, Waveform, RGB Parade, and Vector, and customize your sample area using the Position, Width, and Height tabs. Now that we know how to analyze our shot, let's start making corrections by expanding the Primary Correction dropdown. Inside this tab are various options that affect your entire shot. The first thing we will do is select the whitest white in our image, which in this case appears to be on the tips of the waves. Once your white is selected, the white strength slider brings your color selection as close to true white as possible while restoring a wider range of color to the rest of the image. You can also use the white tweak slider to make the image warmer or cooler. The Primary Correction tab also comes with the standard set of color correction options such as Hue, Saturation, Exposure, Brightness, and Gamma. By making some quick adjustments, we're able to turn this once bland footage into a shot that really stands out. Of course, sometimes you need to do more than just change a video's saturation and exposure. The Secondary Correction tab gives you a wide range of tools for making individual corrections to your video's highlights, midtones, shadows, and more. This footage of our character recovering needs some color work before it's ready to go out. This sequence has a dark, urban, gritty feel to it, so we want our colors to reflect that. We'll start by making some quick changes to the primary correction. Let's lower our exposure and increase our film gamma to really bring out the shadows, and increase the brightness just a tad to make sure our highlights aren't dulled too much. With our shading dialed in, we can start making changes to the color scheme. Colorfast 2 lets you see what areas you'll be affecting before making any adjustments. By selecting the various masks, you can see your highs, mids, and shadows displayed in red in the preview window. You can adjust the highlight and shadow thresholds in the Range Adjust tab, while the Blend option controls your secondary adjustment's opacity, and the Spread option controls feathering. Now that the ranges are locked in, it's time to start making changes to our colors. We'll need to bring in some oranges for that late night urban feel, so let's give the lights that midnight at a liquor store orange. We'll increase the tint to about 30, give it a little saturation, and we'll leave the level where it's at. Too high and we'll blow out our orange color, and too low we lose that sweaty reflection on our actor's skin. For the mids, we still want an orange to reflect the ambient color scheme, but let's make it a little lighter since our mids have a heavy influence on the character's skin. We'll leave the saturation and the level where they are. Finally, we want to give our shadows some nice contrast from the highs and mids, so we'll use the eyedropper to select a mid-tone from our actor's face and turn the tint down into the negatives to make sure we've got a perfectly complementary color. Lower the saturation and the level just a tad, and our shot is almost done. Just pop into the Output Correction tab to make some final changes, and just like that, we've got a perfectly colorized shot in about two minutes. Now in this example, we wanted our character's face to get color corrected, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you want to preserve skin tones or other features, which is why Colorfast 2 contains two different mask types for retaining the color of important elements of your shot. When we toggle Colorfast 2 in this scene, we can see that our protagonist's face is being corrected when really we just want to correct the background. So we'll start by displaying the skin mask using the Show Mask dropdown and navigating to the Skin Mask tab. Use the eyedropper to select a skin color for the mask to work off of 
and adjust the sensitivity so that most of her skin is selected. Feather the edges with soften and pick an opacity with blend. Now, when we toggle our skin mask, we can see just how much of our original colors are being preserved. Another way to exclude parts of your shot from secondary corrections is through the use of the shape mask. In this case, the character on the right kind of looks like a floating head, so we'll brighten up his shirt so that the character takes up a little more of the shot. Select Shape Mask from the Show Mask dropdown and check Invert so that we preserve the colors on the inside of the mask rather than the outside. Adjust the shape by changing its roundedness, feather, and blend, and then set the corners to mask the man's shirt. After turning off our mask layer and clicking Enable in the Shape Mask section, all that's left is to bring down the exposure in the output corrections and we've got a shot that's ready to go. These have been just a few of the endless possibilities for your videos using ColorFast 2. By combining a powerful set of tools with an easy-to-use interface and a library of preset settings, ColorFast 2 is an invaluable tool for any editor's suite. To learn more about ColorFast 2 or the entire family of new blue filters, go to newbluefx.com/colorfast2 today.